Hello and welcome to the demo aquaponics cabin. If you've been following our recent videos, you'll realise that it's our ambition to teach you how to do aquaponics in your very own home. Now the way that we're going to do that is by showing you how to build your own DIY kit using everyday items from your local Walmart store. So, last time out we actually bought those items and we showed you what you need. This time around we're actually going to show you how to make it. And if you can drill five holes in a plastic box, you can put this kit together really quickly. So let's have a look at how it's done. I want to do a quick recap on the things that we need to make this kit. So, let's start. The 16 ounce party cups. Our shot cups. Our jumbo straws, 30 count. 8 foot of standard airline tubing. And our air pump. We also have a 27 litre Sterilite container and exactly the same dimensions, just a bit deeper, a 55 litre Sterilite container. So let's have a look at our containers. If you followed our previous video, you should have exactly the right thing in front of you right now. This guy on the top, the smaller one, he's our 27 litre Sterilite container. This guy on the bottom, he's our 55 litre. Now these guys have to be the same dimensions and the reason for that is we want them to sit perfectly inside of each other just like this. So now that we've got our boxes together we actually only need to work on this top one. So for the time being I'm actually going to put the bottom one to one side. It's this little guy, the 27 litre, that we're going to need to work on. What we're going to do is drill holes in opposing corners. The reason for that is that as the water is pumped from the bottom container into the top one, we want it to travel the maximum distance across the media that's possible. And the only way of doing that is putting holes in each of the corners. If you've not got holes in each of the corners, then this kit's not going to work as well. So it's really important to do that. The first thing we're going to do is mark everything out, and then we're going to drill some holes. You should have put five markers in. There should be two in each opposing corner. So two here, two here, and then one in the corner. Right as close as you can, right in the corner, and right level with this lip at the top of the lid here. The next step is to take two of our party straws. And what we're going to do is cut one in half. And once we've cut that in half, we're going to cut one of those in half again. So what we should end up with, and we can discard the other part, is two pieces of straw, roughly the same size, a couple of inches long. If you need to trim them up, then you can do that. So that's what you should have. Two of these guys like that. Okay? So the next thing is to take one of those pieces of straw and hold it against another full complete straw and what we're going to do is cut that just there. So effectively what we have is two quarter length pieces and one three quarter length piece. One of the reasons that this kit is so versatile is because we can change the level of the water in our media tray here. Now, the way that we're able to do that is by drilling really precise holes that are exactly 
the right size, just wide enough to hold on to the straw to stop it falling through, but just narrow enough that we can move the straws up and down. By moving these straws up and down, we can actually change the water level in here. So, now that we've got our markers in place, you should have two markers, nice equal distance from each other in this corner, two markers, nice equal distance from each other in this corner, and a marker right in the corner, level with the lip at the top of this tray. So what we'll have is two wider holes here for the down pipe, a wide hole here for the up pipe, and a hole next to it for your airline, and a hole here in the corner for the airline. So we've got two wide, a wide and a narrow, and in this very corner here, we're going to have a narrow. So what we also have to do now is decide on the size of the drill bits that we need for each of our components. We need a drill bit that's slightly smaller than our airline and slightly smaller than our uh, straw. Now the reason for this is because, like I've just mentioned, we actually want the box to grip a hold of the straw. So what we need to do is to select a drill bit that fits just inside. And in this case, it's actually a 21 over 64. That's what we're going to use for the two wide holes for the straw, and then the wide one in the opposite corner. And then for the airline, we're actually going to use, what have we got here? This is a 13 over 64. And again, it's just, just slightly narrower than the airline itself. And this is going to help us when we want to um, accurately change the level of the water. But before we do any of that, we're actually going to drill each of our holes with a tiny little drill bit. It doesn't really matter what size you do. The smaller the better. Um, but basically this is going to act as a guide. And what it's going to do is allow us to make really nice, clean, perfectly round holes with our bigger drill bits. It's really important that we do that because accuracy is what makes this kit so versatile. Just take your time over this step and you're going to have a great kit.
So if we've done this right, this is what it should look like. In one corner, we have the two down pipes. These straws can move kind of freely, um, but they're actually held in place by the tightness of the hole. And the same with the upflow pipe in this corner. We have the airline just next to it, and the airline actually comes in through the corner, and that keeps that nice and tight. So that's going to stop that from slipping out. We simply just literally place the airline inside that pipe like that. So no glue, nothing like that, really easy, um, comes together really simply. So let's get our other box back into play now. So this is what it's going to look like. And so here we're going to have water pumped up and here we're going to have water going down. And in the middle we're going to have our media. Now we're going to talk about that in a separate video as to what to use in here, both in the top and the bottom tray. All we need to do is actually connect our air pump to our airline. It's really important that we use a check valve though, just in case for any reason the power should go off, and that will be supplied with your air pump. Um, if the power should go off, it stops the water actually leaking back down this tube and into our air pump. And what we don't want is water getting into something electronic and, and causing us problems. So basically what's going to happen is we're going to use our party cups and I'm going to show you how to prepare these as plant pots and they're going to sit in the media. Okay, like so. So one other thing that we also want to do is to prepare our shot cups. Now these are great for planting seedlings but they actually have two pretty important purposes here for our actual kit itself. So the way that this works is actually for our up pipe, it sits over the top of the up pipe um, and it stops water splashing outside of the box. And on the down pipes here, if you can see, it actually stops any debris or, or anything blocking up the down pipes. But what we need to do is make several holes uh, in this cup and I'm going to show you how to prepare it because what we want it to do is to let air out but to keep water in. So it acts as a guard, and the same over here, we want it to keep the debris out, but we want the water to flow through. So we're going to need to put a few holes in a couple of these little guys. Okay, so now that we have our protector cups prepared, we can put them in place. If you check out the little triangles uh, that we cut earlier, they feed really nicely um, onto the airline and that's going to hold that in place like so. With this one over here, I've actually drilled a few more holes just around the base and that's going to let the water out just that bit easier. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it there for today's video. Everything is physically in place to make this kit work. All we need to do now is add some substrate to our bottom tank and some media to our grow bed. This is where the bacteria is going to live and this is what's going to help do the job and actually convert ammonia into fertiliser. So thanks again for joining us at the Demo Aquaponics Cabin. Tune in for the next video where we're going to go to the next stage of using these simple materials from Walmart to make your own DIY aquaponics kit.